Hello guys, this video will see the top 3 mistakes done by beginners in CFD analysis. The first mistake is importing the solid geometry for the analysis. And the word solid is very important. Sometimes we used to have solid geometries like this. Here we can see the cylinder vertex in here. In the while drawing the cylinder vertex in here, only the solid part of the geometry is drawn. Whereas the liquid which is going through this path is not drawn, that space is left as a void or there is nothing is there in the fluid flow region. Whereas in fluid flow analysis, we need to have fluid body inside this shape. Let me show you a small example. Here we have a small fluid flow path inside a plate. Here this is only the solid geometry, whereas in whereas for fluid flow analysis, we need to have the fluid path like this. I mean the hollow space within this solid geometry should be filled with fluid. For this we have some tools in design modeler like fill. We have to use the fill option to fill these gaps in order to create a fluid body and solid body. In most of the cases the solid body is not necessary for our analysis. We need only the fluid body. So in such cases we have to subtract the solid body from this total bodies. Only the fluid body is enough. For that we need to use some boolean operations in design modeler. And in the next phase, the second important mistake we do is having excessive mesh shapes. If you have very excessive mesh shapes, the case could not be solved because we generally use some common systems which is having i5 or i7 processors and the RAM will be around 8 GB or 16 GB which is not sufficient for solving excessive mesh shapes. The thing we can do to avoid this thing is we have to do local refinement only instead of having refinement in all the regions. Wherever it is necessary, we have to do refinement. And some places where small meshes, uh, where a coarse mesh is enough, we have to leave that with coarse meshes. And wherever the boundary layers are to be maintained, whether it is hydrodynamic boundary layer or thermal boundary layer, we need to have the inflation if you want to analyze this boundary layer effects instead of having fine mesh in all the region. And we have to take symmetry along a plane if it is possible so that it can reduce the mesh size into half. That is a very good thing that we have to do in order to reduce the mesh size. And sometimes we can assume 2D concentration in planar concentration or axis symmetry concentration. If it is a polar coordinate, we have to use axis symmetry. We have to think whether it, the 2D concentration is possible there or not. If it is possible, surely we can move with 2D consideration so that we can reduce the meshes drastically. So this will help to sort out this problem. And the third common mistake is comparing the results. Generally saved results are having some numerical values as well. But the most predominant results will be in the form of the result contours. So when you see the contours, simply we should not compare the values by seeing the colors itself. Because each and every color has some meanings that is shown in the legit. Here you can observe that the maximum velocity in this plot is 1.8 whereas the maximum velocity here is 1.7 meter per second. Here we cannot compare these two plots and we can come to an inference. So we need to have common scales in both the diagrams in order to compare that. For that we have to be careful when generating these images from the ancestor plate. So let's go to graphics. If you want to save a velocity plot, go to contours. If you simply use the auto range, the range within this particular plane will be considered and that maximum value of velocity within this section is 1.19. So we have to disable this auto range and we have to change that to 1.2 or something which is nearer. And we have to use the same minimum maximum value for the next contour to compare. For more videos and answers fluent. Please subscribe our channel and follow. Thank you.